A very warm good morning to all of you. As we were discussing about the second chapter that is latitudes and longitudes and we have done the introduction of latitudes and longitudes. So here we are going to discuss the continuation of that topic that is latitude. Separately we will be seeing about the latitudes and then after completing the latitude sections we will be discussing longitudes. Okay. So the first latitudes. As we discussed the latitudes, there are 181 latitudes on the globe. All right. So how they are drawn on the globe and how they are uh, numbered, right? Like like 20 degree north, 20 degree south, then uh, 30 degree north, 30 degree south. Likewise, from the zero degree to the north of North Pole. That is the zero degree to the north pole. There are some numbers like one degree, two degree, three degree, four degree up to 90 degree. So how they are leveled, how they are named. Let us understand in this topic. So the so first one is when we understand the definition of the latitudes, right? The definition of latitude that is what is the definition of latitude? The latitude of a place is the angular distance of that place north or south of the equator and they are measured from the center of the earth right they are measured from the center of the earth there are two places you need to remember that it is angular distance it is angular distance and it is measured from the center of the earth right these two things you need to remember to understand how the latitudes are given the numbers. You see, it is angular distance means every latitude make an angle like 1 degree angle, 2 degree angle, 3 degree angle, 30 degree angle and it goes on up to 90 degree north, right? Same way, uh, 1 degree angle, 2 degree angle to the south of the equator and they are measured from the center right they are measured from the center let's understand with the example that is already given in your textbook when you are referring and understanding this video please refer your textbook right so you can see from the center it is from the center and one example that is given 30 degree north so from the equator it is 30 degree north so from the center it is measured this latitude is measured from the center of the earth that's why it is known as angular distance this side also it is measured as the 30 degree this side also it is 30 degree north so when these both the sides are making an angular distance so now they are joined circular wise right they are joined and made a line of the 30 degree north latitude same uh, example that we can see 60 degree north both the side of this um, this eastern hemisphere this western hemisphere right so what happens from the center it is measured 60 degree and this is also 60 degree both the sides so when they make an angle they make 60 degree angle so they will be named 60 degree latitude north or uh, they will be named 60 degree north latitude so due to this reason due to this reason what happens it is termed as that the latitudes are the angular distance of that place north or south of the equator it is north or south of the equator if it is the latitudes that are there south of the equator also will be measured from the center so they will be termed as angular distance right so and next thing to remember that from the center of the earth they are measured from the center of the earth due to that reason it is known as the angular distance from the center of the earth you might have learned in easy way in uh, other classes that in simple term what is equator or what is latitudes latitudes are the imaginary lines 
that move from west to east simple term but as complicated when you grow uh, when you promoted the next and next classes the definition become bit complicated to understand to broaden your thinking level right so it is uh, the angular distance from that of place of north and south of the equator and it is measured from the center of the earth right i hope the definition is clear now equator is equal distance from the north pole and south pole both the poles it is equal distance that's why it is known as equidistance equidistance means equal distance from the poles right so it is a center that is termed as zero degree equator and that is equal distance from the north and south that's why it is dividing the earth in two equal halves as it is dividing the earth in two equal halves they are known as grade circle so as it is dividing the earth into two equal halves it is known as great circle equator is known as great circle and all other circles are known as smaller circle because from the equator when we move towards the poles the uh, lines will be reducing decreasing so they will, they will not be called as the great circle because they won't divide the earth in equal two halves both the sides right only equator can divide the earth in two equal halves that's why it is known as equator is known as great circle it is known as great circle remember the definition of great circle why it is known as great circle because it divides the earth in two equal halves that's why it is termed as great circle what is the um definition of smaller circles smaller circles will not divide the earth in two equal halves right so next is how many numbers of latitudes are there we already discussed in the previous video that how many latitudes are there on the globe you see there are um, zero degree equator is there zero degree latitude from here one degree to 90 degree and from here south of the equator one degree to 90 degree both when we calculate that is 181 latitudes right that we have already discussed that's why i'm going in shortcuts so what happens that is 181 latitudes are there including the equator right they are parallel they are parallel to the equator then they are also known as parallel of latitudes they are known as parallel latitudes where they are parallel latitudes means they will be running parallel to equator they will not be moving um, uh, what is called different directions but as the equator will be moving from west to east and uh, what is called parallel it is moving parallel so all other latitudes also will be moving parallel that's why they are known as parallel latitudes all right then another each latitudes from the distance of 1 degree to 2 degree each latitude's distance will be 111 kilometer the distance between the latitudes two latitudes will be 111 kilometer that is so the radius of the earth is 40000 kilometer right or it is 360 degree of one circle when 40000 kilometer radius radius is there divided by 360 will be 111 kilometer that's why each latitude will be of distance 111 kilometer so there are some symbols of minutes and symbols of seconds when the uh, scientist or geographers write the exact location of place how to locate the exact location of place for example it will be given 20 degree 50 minutes 20 second north so this is the way how they write and you need to understand it so because of this symbol so the symbol of the minutes is this apostrophe without dot or semicolon without dot just one apostrophe will be there one apostrophe and symbol of seconds will be two semicolon or two apostrophes will be there so without dot remember that without dot so this is a symbol of a minute this is symbol of seconds so when it will be given uh, the location of 20 degree 50 minutes 20 
seconds. So it is when you write in the words what happens 20 degree 50 minute 20 seconds that is north of the equator. So likewise it will be able to understand. So hope you have understood and those who are asking the questions in YouTube please ask in campus care all the doubts and I will be clarifying that. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.